Hello sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing so so well. I hope you're getting some sunshine where you guys are at. Today is one of the first sunny days in quite a long time. It seems like it's too long of a time but yes it's just giving me life. I'm ready for spring. I'm ready for summer. Oh my word. Um, but yeah it's April 2nd the day that I'm filming this. It's a beautiful Sunday and I have quite the thrift haul and decor haul to share with you guys. I'll be showing you 30 ways on how to use your thrifted items and also just ideas on how to refresh and just organize your space and just get your space and home ready for this spring and summer. Before we get started, if you are new here, hi, hello, and welcome. My name is Olivia and here on my channel, I like to create all sorts of feel good content, just plain out good for the soul. So if that interests you, I would love for you to join my YouTube family by hitting that subscribe button down below. And especially if you love all things thrifty and you want to learn how to transform your home using thrifted decor then this channel is definitely for you but if you guys are ready for a little thrift haul decor haul then keep on watching today's video okay you guys so we are starting off with all the goodwill finds and i'm so excited to share what i have found i think we're gonna i don't know which what to start off with but we're gonna start off strong <laughs> I am so into that coastal grandma. This whole outfit is coastal grandma inspired. I think that style is going to be really popular this year. So definitely think like boho, cottage, um, a little bit of shabby chic here and there. And so I'm definitely trying to find items that fit that decor style. And when I saw this basket, I wasn't in love with the color. Obviously, it's not it's really yellow. But at the end of the day, I was like, you know what? This basket, it has such a unique uh, pattern to it. I love these little, <laughs> these handles don't even work. They're like attached at the top. These little unique handles on the sides. And I love the size. There's my receipt. <laughs> so I spent $10. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I found this wicker basket for $4 at Goodwill, but I love the size. You can put a big plant in here. You can put a uh, blankets in here, like little knitted blankets. You can get knitted blankets like this at Goodwill. You might most likely will be able to find these, you know, put them in here. I think that would be so sweet. Set it down by the end of your bed, um, on the side of your hutch or on the side of a table or end table. These are just so versatile, so definitely be sure to pick these up. Another baskety item and something that is very much coastal grandma style. We have this little wooden bowl. This is so unique. I've never seen anything like this before. Look at this. I don't even know what to call this. Yeah, it's wood. I mean, look, it is wood. Now this, they, there were a couple of others of this same type of bowl, but they were different shapes and sizes. And this was the best deal. The others were really expensive. I'm like, I'm not gonna, blow, I'm not gonna spend $8 on a bowl. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so I got this one and I thought it was just the perfect size. You can put little trinkets in here. You can put, oh, you can put fresh fruit in here. Set it out on your coffee table, um, your breakfast bar, wherever. This is just so versatile. You can put it in your bathroom, you know, put some hand soaps in here, like bar soaps or little, oh, so cute. So many ideas. You could put little rolled up towels to make it feel like a spa. You guys, so many good ideas. Okay, we're six minutes in. I gotta keep this rolling. Oh, yeah five dollars but i'm happy to have it and i'm excited to use it the next item again is very coastal grandma style and you will definitely be seeing this in all of my outdoor decorating um videos this was only 99 cents and there was a sticker on here but i took it off so this was brand new i was a little bit worried i was thinking eh, i don't really want to get a water glass especially a container with a seal especially if someone ha has used it, but this ha was brand new. Again, 99 cents. I love the design on it. What does it say? This is French, but yeah, I think that this is great. It's some type of European brand, so I'm happy to have it. Again, 
put some fresh water in here with some lemon slices, put orange juice. This will be so great on your breakfast bar. Take this outside on a picnic. Take this outside to your back patio. Enjoy your breakfast, your lunch. I mean, this is just so great. Um, will I bring this with me <laughs> while I'm driving? I don't know. I don't know. Is this my new water bottle? But I figured that this is just perfect for that coastal grandma style, cottage style that I am trying to embody this spring and summer. Another coastal grandma style, and it sort of matches my outfit. I found this sweet little vintage antique, not antique, but vintage hanger. This blue and white pattern oh, is so, so darling. I love the blue ribbon. So sweet and so precious. Oh, they only had one. Okay, there were two others, but the the fabric and the color I just wasn't vibing with, but this blue and white one was just so classic. I cannot wait to use this. So I like to hang my clothes up on my on my shower curtain in my guest bathroom. That's where I get ready because it has the best lighting. But I always like to, you know, hang my outfit up, um, you know, where I can see it. And it's just really pretty. Usually it's really pretty up against the simple white shower curtain. Um, but this will just be a whole new vibe, just a whole era. <laughs> it's really going to help me romanticize my morning routine, getting ready, you know, the night before, put my cute little summer dress on this that I plan on wearing the next day, get up, get ready, go into the bathroom, you know, get ready and then change, take my little summer dress off of this sweet hanger and just have a great day. That's the plan. That's the plan with this. I love this. I am so glad that I found it. Another blue and white item, and this was only 99 cents, but I found this blue and white glass ball. Some type, it's not hollow. Um, I don't know what type of material this is, uh, but it's just a nice little decor ball. I only got one, so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to decorate and style this, but you know me, I'll figure it out but I'm glad to have it. It was only 99 cents. I couldn't pass it up. Oh okay, yeah, I'm keeping this in the basket for the most part, but I didn't realize this until I got home. This smells like absolute cigarette smoke. Uh, I don't even really like touching it, but whew, uh, I'm gonna have to soak this outside in like soapy Dawn dish soap water. But you guys, look at this basket. You cannot tell me that this wall faux plant basket hanging thing, you cannot tell me that this is perfect for that cottagey, uh, cottagey, shabby chic style, especially cottagey, even farmhouse. It's really cute. I love, again, this just goes up on the wall. I'm sort of doing it sideways so you can see its profile. But this is so sweet and so perfect for the cottage vibe this spring and summer and the actual um, <laughs> this does, does not smell good. Okay. But the actual, I'm going to put this away soon, but the actual leaves, the actual leaves look really good for a faux plant. There's a mixture of like ivy and pothos. We're putting this baby, we're putting this back in the bag. This is going straight outside when I'm done. <laughs> okay. And then the last thrifting find that I found, you guys are not ready for this. I sometimes hate how they really price their ter just simple terracotta pots that I know cost like 99 cents at the store. They like, after they've been used, not even patina, just like, I don't know, just people donate them and they will sell the terracotta pots for like three to four dollars more than I know what they're actually worth. And when I found this beautiful patinaed, this is terracotta. I know it looks fake, but this is terracotta. It has like cobwebs on it and everything. I need to clean it a little bit. Um, but yeah, it has a hole in the bottom to drain the water. And this baby, this huge baby was only $4. So I was like, this baby's coming home with me. <laughs> I'm in love with this. I'm in love with just the detailing, the beautiful patina of it. This is perfect for the spring and summer and all your cottagey farmhouse Shabby chic needs. This fits the bill. So I'm keeping this. Alrighty, my sweet friends. It's time for the fun part. 
when I tell you I have not gone to a TJ Maxx, like I have not shopped at a TJ Maxx or just like a, a decor, a new, anything non-thrifted, like anything that's brand new off the shelves. I have not done that in like, I have not done that in like well over a month. Maybe, I don't even know. So I went a little crazy. I got a lot of things that I needed. Okay, so the first item reminded me of Liz over at Traditions by the Seasons. Oh my goodness, she is like the greatest of all time when it comes to decorating. She's like the goat of YouTube decorators. Um, but this reminded me of her when I saw this. I was like, this is so Liz. And so if you're watching Liz, I found this little basket thing. Um, there, there's the bottom. You set it on top of something. Um, but it was only $10. They have much bigger ones than $20 to $30. Um, but I love the wicker pattern of this. But I think that this is meant to go over um, a light. So Liz over at Traditions by the Seasons, I'll leave her channel link down below. But she likes to take the casings off of like wax warmers and just have the simple light with the cord. And she'll put, you know, just leave it as is with the light to create an ambiance. Um, or she'll put like a cage on top or a basket. So I figured, I feel like I haven't really seen her use something like this that's so like tight knit like this this woven is really tight knit but I still think if you use it the same way put a light underneath you know a pretty powerful light just a normal light bulb I think a flameless flickering candle would be too soft and too dim but I think that if you put a strong enough light bulb underneath it can really cascade a really neat light effect or shadow light effect on the walls and the surrounding area so I'm very excited to use this in my own home, but it reminded me of you, Liz, um, and it was only $10, so I thought I might as well. And it definitely fits the Coastal Grandma cottagey style. So that's the first item. The next couple of items that I found that are just great to pick up for spring, summer, we're all doing spring cleaning right now. And um, there's just some spaces, like if you have open cabinetry, so one side of our kitchen, the upper cabinets, like whoever previously owned this house, they like took the cabinet doors off. <laughs> it does not look good. It does not look good. You guys probably never see it, have never seen it because there's a reason I don't want you to see it. It's just because all our plates are in there, all our glasses. I've made it as pretty as possible, but that whole open cabinetry right there, it's just... It's just not pretty. So I got some more baskets um, to put in there in each little cubby. And again, it will just make it more cohesive, camouflaged, you know, put all of our miscellaneous items in. So these are just really good to just buy when you have, you know, if you have 50 bucks to spend, just go ahead and get a whole bunch of wicker baskets. Um, this big one right here, I'm gonna place this on top of our fridge because it's all open right up there and we just throw like sacks of potatoes. I have my Nutribullet up there. So I figured if I get some baskets, you know, it's gonna camouflage it a little bit better and it fits with the Coastal Grandma style. Love it, or cottagey style. So these are just so perfect. But another awesome find that I found at TJ Maxx and it was on sale for $12. I have this beautiful wicker wooden vase. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful this is. It was on sale for $12. Oh, I lied. $14. Um, it was originally, wow, it was originally $30, but I mean $14. I couldn't pass it up. This will be so beautiful with pomp. Just imagine pompous grass flowing out of it. Um, this is really good for not so much spring, but definitely summer with the pompous grass or more neutral greenery. You can even put a plant, there's my ivy plant down here, put a plant down down inside. There we go. <laughs> I don't know, or just leave it as is. This is a great uh, space filler if you have, you know, open shelves in your uh, formal living room. So another thing, I really feel like this fits just that cottagey, coastal i want to say coastal grandma okay i'll stop saying coastal grandma unless it really is coastal grandma but this really fits that like coastal cottagey just like spa like vibe 
I get spa vibes off of this. So. so I cannot wait to decorate this in the summertime. Okay, another great thing to pick up. They always raise their prices on these, on these decorative napkins. They used to be like $2.99, $3.99, now they're $5. But I always like to pick these up because I have a little decorative paper napkin and plate basket <laughs> that holds all of my pretty, pretty napkins and pretty plates. Uh, like this up on my countertop and it really just warms up the space makes it more cozy i also have a napkin holder on the coffee table and that's where this beautiful fern printed napkins are going to go excuse my grammar that was not good grammar <laughs> that's where these napkins are going to go it's just great to pick these up they're great as a mother's day gift easter gift um just gift in general, and they're just great for yourself. So I just had to pick a set up. Okay, so I have a couple baby plants that I picked up at Kroger that are really struggling in their little nursery pots. So they need to be upgraded to slightly larger pots. And I knew that Home Goods, okay, this is from Home Goods, uh, those napkins and these two pots that I'm about to show you, they're all from Home Goods. Uh, we have this beautiful blue and white. Again, the blue and white pottery I'm obsessed with. And this is going to look so gorgeous with greenery. With greenery coming out of it. Oh, so gorgeous. Um, this was a little expensive. It was $13, $12.99. But again, it's just a classic look. I feel like this blue and white pottery, whatever, whether it's really cheap or really expensive, I just feel like it never goes out of style. It is so classic and timeless. And again, it just goes, it goes with farmhouse. It goes with the coastal grandma style. It goes with shabby chic. It goes with boho. It goes with absolutely every style. These are classic. You definitely need to pick some up. Blue and white pottery in this shape, like an actual vase. Um, just anything, honestly, anything. So we have that one. And then we also have this really nice neutral one. I'm not in love. I'm not in love with this. I want something that's more unique and more like old, old world, old school looking. This is very much modern. And you guys know I'm not, I'm, that's not me. I'm not really a modern type gal, um, but it was $8. And it has, you know, it has drainage. That's really important. A lot of these decorative pots have no drainage and I'm like sure you can put big rocks on the bottom of the pots but I just feel like plants they need actual drain holes that the water completely drains out of and you know can expel so we have this one and I do really like the pattern and it's just the perfect size and it was only only eight dollars so I could not pass it up Okay, sweet friends, I'm filming the outro the same day, but in a different outfit because I'm working on another video. But all in all, I hope you guys enjoyed this thrifting decor haul. I hope it has inspired you to go out treasure hunting, to just find new decor, to refresh your space on a budget in affordable ways. Um, I cannot wait to just use all the items that I found in my spring and summer decor and use all the baskets to just make my organization skills a little bit better and to make things just a little bit prettier. Get rid of all those miscellaneous items and tuck them away into a pretty basket. And so if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you wanna get more inspiration just like this video. Now my next video will be an actual decorate with me video. So I cannot wait to get back to my regularly, regularly scheduled videos that I know you all love and enjoy. And also don't forget to go follow me over on Instagram and TikTok where I like to share outfit of the days and daily inspiration and motivation sprinkled throughout. And I also do lots of clothing thrift hauls over on TikTok. So you definitely want to go check that out. I'll leave all the information in the description I'm gonna below. I'm gonna have to go. I can keep rambling, but I'm gonna have to go. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Remember that every day is a new opportunity to leave someone better than you found them. And I will talk to you on my next video. Bye guys.